Do you think we're living in a simulation? <laughs> Yes. Well, so, okay. So I'm going to jump around from the absurdly philosophical to the, sure, to the technical. Sure. Very, very happy to. So I think uh, my answer to that question is a little bit complex because uh, there is simulation theory, which obviously Nick Bostrom, I think, famously first proposed. Um, and uh, I don't quite believe it in in, the, in that sense. So um, in the in the sense that uh, are we in some sort of computer game or have our descendants somehow recreated uh, uh, Earth in the you know twenty first century and 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 some for some kind of experimental reason? I think that, um, but I do think that we that 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 we might be that the best way to understand physics and the universe is from a computational perspective. So understanding it as an information universe, mm -hmm. and actually information being the most fundamental unit of uh, uh, reality, rather than matter or energy. So a physicist would say, you know, matter or energy, you know, E equals MC squared. These are the things that are are, are the fundamentals of the universe. I'd actually say information, um, which of course itself can be can specify energy or matter. Right? Matter is actually just you know we're we're just out the way our bodies and or the molecules in our body are arranged is information. So I think information may be the most fundamental way to describe the universe. And therefore, you could say we're in some sort of simulation because of that. Um, but I don't, I do, I'm not, I'm not really a subscriber to the idea that, um, you know, they, these are sort of throwaway billions of simulations around. I think this is actually very critical and possibly unique, this simulation. This um, particular one. Yes. So, but, and you, you just mean treating the universe as a computer that's processing and modifying information is is a good way to solve the problems of physics of chemistry yeah. of biology yes. and perhaps of humanity and so on yes i think understanding physics in terms of information theory uh might be the best way to to really uh understand what's going on here